Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have shot this gunmetal smoky eye look. I did this look on New Year's Eve this year and I didn't do the gunmetal part of it but I added a little spice to this video. I have used all drugstore makeup because I have been reading your comments and you'll always say give us affordable options. So everything in this video today is drugstore. Only the last last touch up to my lipstick I did with a high end lipstick. The final touch up but you definitely don't need that. Uh, the, everything apart from that is drugstore and my eyeshadow palette which is the star of today's show this eye look uh, which I love so so much is this Sivana color smoky eye palette this costs only rupees 150 that's how much I got it for you might get a different price at different stores but you get this at your nearest beauty store Sivana colors is a brand indie brand and a lot of people do buy Sivana colors makeup I buy it from a store called Beautiful which is near my house. You get it in Beauty Palace, Beauty Center and all such local beauty centers. You get it in different variants like pink, neutral and one more. I got the smoky version. This was my first ever smoky palette and I absolutely love the pigmentation on this palette. The pigmentation is amazing. Some of the Sivana colors makeup is my absolute favorite even their bronzer which I'm using today. If you are interested in this makeup look and tutorial then please keep on watching. Okay, so I started with the NYX eyeshadow base. I started my eye makeup first because this was a very dramatic eye look and if there is any fallout so I can remove it before I do my base makeup. The NYX eyeshadow base is a good primer for all the shadows to sit well on it. I took this all the way up to my brows to clean out the edges of my brow hair. For the eye look, I took this Sivana color smoky eye palette. I took this lighter brown to set this eyeshadow base. You need one color to set your base so that all the other colors blend well. Took the darker color on a fluffy crease brush and just buffed it first deeper on the outer corners and then I dragged whatever remaining was there in the inner side. I took a more pointed brush so that I could ensure there are no harsh edges. Although this looks messy now, we'll clean it up later. I took the Maybelline Drama Gel Liner to create a good base for the black. The gel liner will act like a primer for just the black shadow so that it looks more pigmented and sits well. I took it all the way up in my crease and then buffed it out later with my fingers so that the gel liner does not set in place. This is all very rough, you don't need to be very precise with this. I took the matte black in the palette on a flat brush and placed it where the gel liner was put so that it sets in place and of course we need black shadow for all the blending. Now I took a more dense crease brush and it was clean, I just made sure all the harsh lines are blended well where the gel liner meets the shadow. Took a little bit of black on this fluffy crease brush because the browns weren't pigmented enough and this is a more of a black eye look so I blended everything in with this fluffy crease brush. I kept going with the dense brush and then the fluffy brush to ensure good blending. When you're using black eyeshadow, you need to know that you can overdo it really quickly. So you've got to keep blending it out. Taking a clean makeup wipe, I wiped out all the fallout and sharpened the edges. I made sure the edges are sharp because the blending wasn't the best towards the end because of the black. And whatever excess you feel you've not blended well, just wipe it off with a makeup wipe. This was the advantage of doing the eye makeup first. Now taking the waterproof eyebrow pencil from Miss Claire, this is in the shade 02 Dark Brown. I pressed a little harder and filled in all the gaps in my brows and brushed it off with the brush end that comes on this eyebrow pencil. Make your eyebrows bold when your eye look is dramatic. For face makeup, I'm starting with the L'Oreal Base Magic Primer. I take a little bit on my fingers and pat it in my T-zone. I'm using patting motion so that I ensure that the primer sits well in my pores. For foundation, I'm using the Pat Cosmetics HD Foundation. I'm in the shade 4.5. I realize the undertone of this is a little too yellow. But I try to make it work with the rest of my makeup like concealer and bronzer. I'm dabbing it on my skin using my Real Techniques Miracle Perfector sponge. For concealer, I'm using the Colourpop No Filter Concealer in the shade Golden. This is a more lighter tone so that it brightens well under my eyes. You need to have really bright under eyes with a nice dramatic look. And I'm buffing it in with my Real Techniques sponge again, the tip end of the sponge.
For powder, I'm using the Revolution Luxury Banana Powder. I'm going to take a little bit on the cap. This is a little difficult to use, but it's a good powder and ensures your makeup lasting really, really long. It's a good drugstore loose powder. The only thing is do not bake with this powder at all. I immediately put it and remove it because it creates really dry under eyes and this is coming from a person who has really oily skin. For bronzer, I'm going in with another Sivana Colors favorite. This was my first ever bronzer and it's a beautiful color. It's in the shade 07 or 04. I'm not sure. I'll leave it in the description section. Putting it in the usual areas on my cheekbones, on my jawline, creating a nice warm. I'm also contouring my nose. I don't usually do this, but I'm adding a nice warmth and sharpness to my look. For blush, I'm taking the Colourpop blush in Tulip to Quit. This is an elf stippling brush. Just loosely dusting this on my cheeks. It is adding a nice peachy pinky glow. I love this blush. For highlighter, I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Chrome highlight. Look at that glow. I love it. Uh, I'm taking it on an elf highlighter brush and putting it on the high points of my face. I need a blinding glow with this look. For Kajal, I'm using the Nika Rock the Line Kajal. It's a nice deep pull and creates a nice smokiness to the look. It's also very affordable, so I love it. Uh, on a small pencil brush from back, I'm taking the same colors of the crease, the two browns, and smoking out my lower lash line. I'm spraying the brush with the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and taking that silver shadow which is so so pigmented and so smooth and intensifying the inner corner. I think this added a little spice and little different angle to the whole look. I was liking how the silver was looking so I took an e.l.f. crease brush and took it higher up. Uh, I'm curling my lashes using the Vega Eyelash Curler, taking the Essence I Love Extreme Mascara. I don't like it that much but I was going to add falsies. Okay, so for lashes, I'm taking the pack 518C eyelashes. I stuck them with the Euro Paris eyelash glue, which is my favorite eyelash glue of all time. This adds so much drama to the eye look. I set my face with the NYX Dewy Finishing Setting Spray and picked up any excess powders from my face. There was already e.l.f. lip oil on my lips and now I'm lining my lips with the face's lip contour in the shade Cafe Latte. I'm going to go on top with the Nykaa Matte to Last Liquid Lipstick in the shade Madras Kapi. This is my favorite brownie nude and this look would have been complete like this but I wanted a more toned down lipstick so I mixed Kat Von D's Lolita 2. Always remember with a bold eye look you need a more toned down lipstick, you cannot have two bold elements on your face. So that's why I want to neutralize the lipstick as much as possible so I went in with this nudist of all lipstick I had. Opened my hair and that was the finished look. Oh by the way I forgot to add uh, what is this brow bone highlight. So I took my Maybelline Master Chrome and just added a little bit with my finger and finessed it with a pencil brush and that was it. That was it for this look. So guys, that was it. This was the look I came up with today using that palette. Let me know in the comments if you liked it. Let me know if you want to see more makeup looks, makeup tutorials. I would love doing that. This was such a therapy for me. I have not been feeling well the past couple of days. And makeup and playing with makeup is really a stress buster for me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I always say that. And if you have subscribed and not clicked on that notification bell, then please do. This week is going to be crazy my channel i think i'm going to come up with four videos this week there are two vlogs pending i think there's going to be a sarah speaks video as well this week and your regular makeup stuff hit the like button if you did like this video let me know my, your thoughts in the comments below until then take care i will see you in my next video next thursday right here right on my channel bye love you all Mwah.